Hey everybody, I got Tyler with me from Sourman. I am really, really excited about the combustion analyzers. I've done a couple of videos from AHR last year about them, but here I've got the expert that's going to be able to talk to us about why these combustion analyzers set themselves apart from the other ones are out that are out there. So we're going to flip the camera around. We're going to take it, uh, let Tyler take it over. Tim, so. One of the major drawing cards for this is the fact that we're now on the MeasureQuick platform. So we are the analyzer on MeasureQuick. Right. So if anybody's using it, we have our 130 series, which I have here, yep. and also our 030 series that mm -hmm. are both on the MeasureQuick platform. These are both also the analyzers used exclusively by NCI, the National Comfort Institute. For those of you that don't know who they are, they're the most elite training entity that exists for our industry. So we're very proud of that. The drawing card, or one of the things that drew the, both of those parties to us, was the, obviously the durability of these and their functionality. Yep. These were designed by Tex for Tex, which is our motto. Mm -hmm. They have the longest sensor life that is out there. So we have a five-year oxygen sensor life. We have a four to five-year CO sensor life. Super we also critical. Have, right. Yeah. We also have sensor life indicator. So you'll be able to see how much sensor life you have left. That's and nice. then each sensor in the chassis has an end of life indicator, okay. which is super crucial. Also, we have an app that goes with it, so if you're not using MeasureQuick at the time, you can control the analyzer from your phone or tablet yep. remotely, yep. generate comprehensive reports with photos and technician notes and the like. Uh, so these are used by some of the largest contracting firms that exist mm -hmm. in North America and South America and some of the smallest. So everything from the most hardcore technician who wants the greatest amount of technology to an old school tech that doesn't want to use much technology, this analyzer finds a sweet spot as well as this one for whatever that technician needs. Yeah. Uh, could you explain the difference between the 130 and the 030? Sure. So the 030 is a residential light commercial model. The 130 is a residential commercial model. 030 you can add NOx to. 130 okay. you can add NOx or low NOx to. Okay. Four buttons on this one. Color touchscreen on this one. So this one mimics your cell phone. Okay. Um, and they both app operate the exact same way when the app is open. Okay. So they both have very unique characteristics. So if somebody, this is more of a base model, but it is anything from a, from a base model, as you heard me go over some of the features and benefits that it has. Yeah. But it caters to those residential and light commercial contractors. And then this one is your more of the flagship model that is the, is the, is the middle level model for us, but is the flagship model as far as features are concerned. And um, this is the most popular. And okay. this caters to both the residential commercial market, like I mentioned. Gotcha. Very good. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to use them yet, but I can tell you right now I've had combustion analyzers in the past in my contracting business, and one of the biggest thing that irked me was I, I got a year or less on the sensors, and we had about a four-month heating season, so I would pay two, three hundred dollars in sensors per model, right. for so because every service truck had one. Right. And I was only getting four months out of it. Then all the summer went by. They weren't being used. And then next fall, when we're wanting to use them, the sensors are dead. And we got to buy them all over again. And so to me, it was... It, I'm not going to say it wasn't worth it to buy the sensors because combustion analysis, you can't put a price tag on people's safety. But it made it very difficult as a contractor to keep eat, eating that yep. and seeing the value in it. But what makes these sensors last so long? It's the, it's the basically we went and spared no expense. So we actually sourced the most expensive sensors on the market. Um, and we didn't gouge the marketplace for profitability. We know what it would take to make a profit. That's why these committed a very competitive price. And an additional feature that I didn't discuss is the CO threshold. We're giving you 8,000 ppm, but we do you one better. You're never going to spike a CO sensor with these because we have programmable pump cutoff yep. that you can customize and have the pump turn off so that you never overrange your CO sensor. That is so important because if you stick it in a stack right. and that stack is not burning clean, right. you can actually break your combustion anal analyzer on the job right. on a unit that really needs you to be able to use a combustion analyzer in order to fix it. Sure. And now and now you're done. So yep. that yeah, that would really and, suck. And, and if you read between the lines, Tim, and what I'm telling you, your cost of ownership is going to be significantly yes. less. Probably cut by close to sixty five to seventy right. percent. Yep. Because the only consumables with us is a filter that goes inside the water trap and in, in the in the propane hose assembly and if and if and in the O ring that's in there if that O ring has to be replaced. Right. Those are the only consumables and our service times are some of the fastest out there. We are five days in season. We are one or two days out of season. So when you need it the most, 
we are only five days, and that has yeah. been a hindrance of manufacturers like us, not us now, but manufacturers that make analyzers have kept your analyzers for a longer period of time. Right. It's very frustrating. We've addressed that, and we decided not to be party to that and to, and, and to run our own race and to have some of the fastest service times that exist. Oh, that's that's really great to hear. And you did some a presentation on combustion yes. analysis. Yes, you always do a great job. Thank I've you. sat in on them before. I'm going to go back and listen to it after the fact because I was in another presentation Thank at you. the time. But it's still not too late to get your virtual tickets and check out experts in the field like Tyler Nelson with Sourman. And you. please go out and check out their combustion analyzers. If you're not doing combustion analysis, start today look into it look at his training it is super important you are leaving your customers at a great risk if you're not including this as part part of your process so thank you again tyler awesome thank you so much i appreciate you all right